Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am still working here in the greenhouse. Uh, it's quite nice, the sun's just broken through. It's about 80 degrees in here, 90% humidity. And I just wanted to share with you a new plant that I got. Um, a really awesome looking little plant. I'm really excited about it. Now this is an outdoor plant. It's just in the greenhouse for filming purposes and it's gonna go live in my woodland shade garden. This is a hardy ginger and I absolutely love it. It is just brilliant. So this is what it's called. A serum maxim, maximum, and the hybrid name or the um, cultivator name is Ling Ling. So it is a hardy ginger. Uh, it's called a panda face ginger, and it just says it's an easy to grow wild ginger that creates amazing ground cover or container plant in sunny room. So it can grow indoors, I guess. I read that on the internet as well. Oops, we'll put you back in focus there. It's just so you can look at that little beauty. Grows in zone seven to nine, gets about six inches tall. But, so I was at the um, garden center today and I just saw this guy poking out on one of the tables and the flower is black and white and I just couldn't help but buy it. It is the most interesting flower I have seen in a while. It's just sort of laying on the ground. This is just a, a cypress mulch on top of the plant. It's such an intricate little thing. I, I don't know if you're getting the full sort of feel of it on camera. I hope you are. I hope it turns out okay. This is sort of a fluffy looking white, although it's not. And the petals are very velvety. They almost look like they have fine little hairs. You almost like you'd want to touch them. Of course you won't touch them, but. And then the inside, it looks like it has almost little teeth, but it doesn't. And it is just an amazing, I can see why they call it a panda um, ginger, being as black and white the way it is. So this guy is just gonna go live outside. Hardy gingers are um, a great addition to the garden. There's one that's just about done. And here's one that is done, I see. Hardy gingers are a great addition to um, a woodland shaded garden. They um, do well in, in all kinds of soils. Um, this I'm hoping is going to be in a well-drained soil. I'm not gonna touch it for this year, but I may um, repot it next year. So I hope it's just a well-drained, sort of nutrient-rich soil. Um, I know they do like you know, a good little mulch over the winter time to keep um, some of the frost and freezing away. But yeah, hardy ginger, panda ginger. Who would have um, thought? My new black and white flower. I love black and white flowers. Actually, I don't know if I have any black and white flowers. I love black flowers. So the black with the white is just, just a great combination. And then the patterns on the leaves are um, really nice as well. So good good addition to my woodland garden and that's going to be about it for this video i still have a little bit of work to do so i'm going to keep filming for you